it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you've got something you want us to help you with, really sincerely, honestly, write to us at WERUradio at gmail.com. And in the subject line, write scenarios and situations. We'll be glad to help you. Now, remember, we are not licensed sociologists. We are not licensed uh, psychotherapists or any of those ists. However, we do have a bevy of life experience to pull from. We know a lot because we've seen a lot. And that's how we're going to help you, okay? However, if you feel that your experience, your scenario, your situation needs deeper and further analysis, please seek out a mental health professional or a spiritual advisor. Now, our fearless reader, the lioness, is standing by with today's letter. What you got for the people, girl? Who we going to help today? Yes, I am a 25-year-old man. How do I end my relationship with my 25-year-old boyfriend? Mm. He treats me exactly like a friend, but only additionally says he loves me. He thinks he can keep me by not prioritizing me at all, and I'm sick of being walked over. I also don't want to tell him I'm done with this relationship, as whenever I tell him anything slightly serious, he gets hysterical, and that's exhausting for me, and I end up getting blamed. I'd rather it fizzle out into a friendship or nothing. But I can't stand hearing him say he loves me when he does nothing to show for it. It hurts my self-esteem for me to allow him to keep me, keep treating me this way. He compliments me, makes time for me, but he doesn't treat me special in any way at all. I haven't responded to his I love you's in a few days now and he even asked me why. He hasn't even asked me why or probably even notice a difference. And he doesn't even care that I'm more distant. It's like, what should I do? We've been together a year. Also, I'm an, inc- I'm an incredibly lonely type, and I've finally gotten to the point of rathering, learning to cope by myself than deal with this crippling situation anymore. I'm scared I'll never find someone else again. What do I do? Whew. Th- there's a lot of triggers in this. First of all, let's start with that last part. You are, they're 26. They're both 26. Is that the right age? Linus? 25. 25 and 26. Love. Oh, love. If you are saying at 25 and 26, you don't think you'll ever find love again, stop. Why are you feeling this way? You are not, <laughs> you are not at the end of your mm-hmm. life, nowhere near the end of life, nor have you even experienced the greater things that you're going to experience in life. So saying that you're never going to find love again, I don't know where this is coming from, but stop, because that's fake, that's false. I don't know where you're getting it from. Get in therapy, and you need to figure that part out. Okay, mm-hmm. now let's start from the top. You guys have been in this relationship for a year. We already know the dynamics in in gay relationships, but first, it sounds to me like your partner is operating in that masculine, hey, I love you, I, but I can't show it, type of mode. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Maybe that's what they learned in their relationship and you can't really fault anyone because that may have been the example that they have. But I'm going to talk to you and your example that you may have had because you say in the letter, I stay with them because I don't want to be alone. That to me spells trauma. And where did you get that example that I need to stay in a relationship because I just don't want to be by myself? Was that an example that you had growing up, seeing your your spouses stay together just because they didn't want to be apart or because, you know, one spouse needed a home and, and safety and security? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yes, all, that definitely sounds like modeling, yeah. Yeah, so this all sounds like it's playing into this particular relationship. What I want to tell you right now, as I say in all these letters, you know what I'm going to say, Lioness? If you're not being seen, loved, and validated in the way that you need to be, yes, you need to consider getting out of this relationship. But I also think that you need to take the time to do the work and figure out what all these traumas and these triggers are for you. Because saying that you're never going to find a love at 25 years old, you want to stay with somebody because you don't want to be by yourself at 25 years old, you're okay with somebody not giving you attention. What, 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 what? Yeah. Uh, it's it's some mirror work that has to be done on your part as well. Lioness, take mm-hmm. over. What do you think? 
I love that you ended that with mirror work. I think that's exactly what needs to happen. I think you need to do a real deep dive and unpack maybe some of the things you were told about being a gay person, about what it means to be in a relationship. Because there are people that have put the narrative out there that, you know, we don't, it's, it's, it's impossible. It's so hard to find a relationship. And you probably have found something that works for you. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily that it's everything that you need, but mm -hmm. it works for you for now. Yeah. I, I, like George, feel like it is crazy for me that you are in that mentality that I need to settle for whatever life comes at 25. Yeah. I, I, I think that that is a, a misnomer. Somebody has misinformed you. But I also want to speak to the dynamics in the relationship really fast. I think, particularly because, George, you mentioned it, that there's a dynamic in gay relationships. It is easy for men to fall into friendship. No shade. Mm -hmm. It just is. Mm -hmm. Because naturally, men have that communal bond. They have that common perspective. They may, they may, they may relate on a, a, a number of other issues that have nothing to do with sex. They have nothing to do with attraction. And unfortunately, if you don't do the work of trying to make sure you're maintaining that spark, you can fall into a... I feel like a lot of my gay friends have fallen into relationships that turn into friendships very easily. Mm. And unfortunately, I think you might be in a dynamic where this man is not that he does it. He's on purposely trying to do you wrong because it sounds like he's saying I love you every day to you. Right. He doesn't know how to express love to another man. Mm. And that's not something men are socialized to do. No shame. So maybe if you really if you if you don't want to do the work of leaving this relationship, but you said yourself you wanted to fizzle out into friendship. I think that's a coward's approach. I think you should talk to your friend because you're assuming that this person is gonna take your rejection and still want to be your friend. Ooh. I think you need to have a conversation with your partner about what he actually wants because you're making a lot of assumptions. Because you don't want to receive the I love you. You're assuming that they don't feel it. Maybe he actually does love you, but just doesn't know how to show it because he's never been socialized to be affectionate with the man. Go get help in this relationship first. Get personal help. Do the mirror work, like George said. And then make your decision. Because it sounds like you're making a lot of things on assumption and fear, and that's never a way to live. Absolutely. And, and, and you touched on one, one more subject that I want to touch on because you said there may be attraction, but he's not able to associate the attraction with emotion. Mm -hmm. And as black men, as a black man all day, every day, I've been a black person three times in my life. I've been a black baby, a black boy, <laughs> and a black man. <laughs> So I understand very well how emotion is extracted from relationships for black men. So this black man that you're in love with, and I'm saying black man, I don't know, girl, but I'm just going to say, <laughs> you can be white man. But, but since I'm black, I'm just going to talk from my perspective. You know, as black men, we are, in men in general, really, to be honest, the emotion is extracted from relationships. I can show mm -hmm. you, I, I'm going to give you a car. I'm going to give you a house. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pat you on your head. I'm going to hug you. I'm going to love, say I love you, and that should be enough. And we don't necessarily know how to put the emotion with it. And you, mm -hmm. it sounds like you need that. Maybe you grew up with that. So, yeah, Linus, you, you, we, I think we're both coming from the same side of the track, um, from both sides of that track, and mm -hmm. saying you've got, you've got some work to do. It doesn't sound like this relationship is at the end of his rope. It doesn't sound like it's a, bad, a horrible relationship. He's not abusive. You're just not getting what you need. Communication, conversation, and mirror work. All of these, but don't be rooting against the relationship that you're in. That's crazy. Just so the whole I'm, I wanted to, I want him to just fit, that fall out of love with me and just be my friends. So I don't want to say nothing. That's gonna end in destruction. Just though you know, you you don't realize somebody telling you that they love you every day. They're not, they're not just doing it just to do it. Right. He may not necessarily be the most emotionally connected man, and I agree. But you just sitting there and just like cringing every time this person says I love you. I think you need to really get help to figure out whether or not you think you're worthy of love. Oh girl that's a whole nother subject 